Welcoming you back inside the event center. Tonight's matchup, a tough one for the Spartans. The Aztecs of San Diego State in town on Walt McPherson Court to take on the Spartans for some Mountain West Conference basketball. The Aztecs at 13 and nine, the Spartans at 11 and 10 overall this season. The student section is full here inside the event center. It's a pretty loud atmosphere here tonight in anticipation of a great basketball game this evening. Let's get you the starting lineups. First for the visiting San Diego State Aztecs under the direction of Steve Fisher, the 18th season head coach at San Diego State, but he's been coaching 26 years as a head coach overall. What a historic and uh, prolific coaching career for Steve Fisher. 13 and nine are the Aztecs, five and five at Mountain West Conference play. Their starting lineup will go as follows. A three guard starting lineup. First, the six foot four, 210 pound junior from San Diego. He's averaging 14 points per game. It's Trey Kell, who is the third best man in the Mountain West Conference in steals per game at 1.5 per game this year. The two guard will be Jeremy Hemsley at six foot three, the sophomore from Rancho Cucamonga, the leading scorer at just over 14 points per game and a very good three point shooter and a threat for them from beyond the arc where he's shooting 41% this year, that's third best in Mountain West Conference basketball. The third and final guard is that three guard, that power uh, forward rather, Dakari Allen, uh, who is a swing guard forward. They really do use him more as a forward, but list him as a guard at six foot five. The senior from Elk Grove, California, nine points per game. He's shooting 54 and a half percent from the field this year. The two forwards will be Matt Shrigley at six foot six. The senior from San Diego has had some time on the bench. Uh, been shelved with some injuries a few games this season, but Trigley back in the starting lineup for his third start of the season, and he is the career leader on this team, uh, the active team at least, with three-point field goals made. He's 35% from beyond the arc for the six-foot-six senior. And the final starter will be the six-foot-ten junior from Sacramento. Nine and a half points per game for Malik Pope, who the Spartans did not see in the first matchup between the two schools earlier this season. He is appearing in his 14th game and his 11th start this year. So it is Kel, Allen, Shrigley, Pope, and Hemsley the starting five for Coach Fisher's Aztecs. And for the Spartans of San Jose State, they're 11 and 10 overall this season, four and six in Mountain West Conference. Play under the direction of fourth season head coach, Dave Wojcik, his staff, Mike Lepore, Tyler Ogenen, and Rodney Tension. The starting five for the Spartans will go as follows. What a few games it has been for this man. Terrell Brown, the six foot two freshman from Hayward, California, averaging six and a half points per game, coming off a career high 17 points on the road at New Mexico. He'll be the starting two guard. Jalen James, the starting point guard, but those two can really intertwine in terms of the one and two position. And Jalen James, a six foot three junior from Chicago, Illinois, averaging seven and a half points per game this season. The third and final guard, the six foot six sophomore from Champaign, Illinois. It is J.C. Hillsman. Six points per game for him has come on in second halves several times over the last couple of weeks for the Spartans. He did it in New Mexico where he scored 10 second half points for San Jose State and really got the Spartans going with a glorious jam down the lane to start off the second half of play for the first basket of the second half against New Mexico. The two bigs for the Spartans, the six foot nine sophomore from Greensburg, Indiana, 12 and a half points per game for Ryan Wellage, who is the best three point shooter on the team at 36%. And then finally, the leader on the team in scoring, shooting, and rebounding. It's Brandon Clark, averaging 18 and a half points per game, the six foot eight sophomore from Phoenix, Arizona the starting at five man. So Brown, Clark, James, Hillsman, and Wellage for the third consecutive game for the Spartans, who have won the previous two that this starting five has been on the court to begin the basketball game. It is a loud atmosphere here inside the event center. Crowd rising to their feet before the opening tip off here this evening. The Aztecs coming onto the floor in their black road jerseys with San Diego State written across the chest in white lettering and a red outline. Meanwhile, the Spartans in their gold uniforms with the blue trim down the side. Jumping center will be Malik Pope for the Aztecs, and he will be opposed by Brandon Clark of the Spartans. Clark, who has been so great at getting these opening tip-offs. Spartans will be traveling from left to right 
in this half. And the Aztecs from right to left. We're underway from the event center opening tip off one back into the right to Jeremy Hemsley. And Hemsley will lead things out for the Aztecs on their first possession. It's left side to Kari Allen. And it's Ryan Wellage loosely guarding him along the perimeter. Asks for some motion. Allen now looks to post up. And he up fakes a drop pass down low on a bounce to Trey Kell. Backing into the lane. Rises up for an elbow floater. It was no good. Rebound Jalen James. Wants to run. Pushes it up the floor to J.C. Hillsman. Attack the baseline goes up and is swatted away on the block from Malik Pope who was lying in the weeds and waiting with that six foot ten frame underneath the basket it goes out of play with 25 seconds on the shot clock and the Spartans will have possession baseline left underneath their own basket James waiting to inbound Spartans Making their moves, the touch pass into Brandon Clark, who had to go up with two hands to receive it. Scoops it back outside for a mid-range jumper that's no good out of the hand of Jalen James and pulled away by the Aztecs. In transition, a Shrigley three ball is no good. James, another rebound for the Spartans. And out they come once more to the right side. On the wing, it's Wellage. Wellage to the left, driving is Terrell Brown. He rises up for the mid-range. It was no good. Right to the hands of Brandon Clark. Stripped to the basketball underneath and taken away by the Aztecs. No score, first minute of play. Over to the right side now, it's Allen. Allen on exchange to Kell. Rotates left side at Shrigley, putting it on the floor. Rises for the teardrop. It's no good. Offensive foul called on Matt Shrigley, driving in and knocking over Brandon Clark. So the Spartans and the Aztecs, no score yet. With 18.50 remaining in the first. Here's Terrell Brown turning to his left side, back in between the circles for J.C. Hillsman. Hillsman left to the wing for Jalen James. James pointing out for a screen from Brandon Clark, goes around it, spins it back, almost had that pass picked off to Brandon Clark. Outside for Ryan Wellage, fires for three. It's a back iron miss, skying for the rebound comes Malik Pope. Pope out in transition to the right side, holding on it is Kell, hits the brakes and reverses the basketball to Hemsley. Hemsley dribble handoff to Allen. Allen stutter step move, crosses over his dribble, goes up against Ryan Wellage. That wouldn't go, tipped up into the air and grabbed by the Spartans. Brown to James, James driving in. He kicks out to J.C. Hillsman who thought about the three ball, put it back down though. Now Brown with 20 seconds to shoot, drops it off to Brandon Clark, one on one trying to back him down and we have a foul coming in against San Diego State for an arm bar and a push off down low. Their second team foul and the first personal coming in to Trey Kell. And again, no score yet. 18.03 remaining in the first. James to inbound. Lobs for Clark on the wing, right side. Now he drives down the lane, jump step, floats one up, no good. Rebound San Diego State. Not a good look from Brandon Clark right there. Oh, Aaron dribble collected though by Allen. Now outside for a three ball from Malik Pope from NBA range, and that one is nothing but net. Malik Pope can provide that type of offense, and then they'll also go down low with that six foot ten frame. A very, very put, well put together basketball player. Here's Wellage on an up fake. He drives in. He weaves it outside to Brandon Clark, who almost lost the handle on it. Takes it back out to Jalen James, who backs away with 10 seconds to shoot. Jalen now on a crossover. Driving to his left side, right to the 10. He can't finish with a right hand. It rolls off the rim. It's no good. 3-0 Aztec lead. Start this basketball game off. Hemsley outside Pope, up fake, driving in, spin in the lane, stolen away by Terrell Brown. Brown accelerating down the lane. He loses control of the basketball, dribble it off of his own foot, and it's right back to the hands of Jeremy Hemsley, who works on Ryan Wellage, rises up for a right-hand floater. That was no good. Well, there have been a lot of missed shots, that's for sure. It's a 3-0 Aztec lead. We're almost three and a half minutes into the game. Here comes Jalen James. He rises, tries to put one off window. No. Meanwhile, Allen and Tekel. Kel driving in, finger roll, lay and falls. It is possible. Uh, the Aztecs have proved it. Spartans are 0 of 7 to start off the game from the field. Jalen James, who has missed three of those shots. Everybody else has missed one. Now it's J.C. Hillsman driving in. He had an open lane to drive on the baseline, and he missed the lane and the dunk. I think he was caught in the middle. And that was not very clean, not very pretty. Now it's Allen on the backdoor cut. Banks one home as he turned around to his left shoulder. The Aztecs up 
7-0. Barton's have to compose themselves here. And just get a, a decent look at something right now as Jalen James will drive in, call for a timeout, and Coach Wojcik saying, hey, look, we've had eight opportunities and not bad-looking ones and haven't been able to convert yet. And so the Spartans, who are at the first timeout, down 7 to nothing with 15.56 remaining in the first half. A break in the action from the event center. You're listening to Spartan Basketball from Learfield. Well, it's a 7 nothing start for the Aztecs over the Spartans, and more concerning, the Spartans are 0 of 8 from the field on their first tries in this game, prompting Coach Wojcik to call for the game's first timeout. So he'll have three remaining in this basketball game and not a bad time for it as the Spartans need to figure out what's going on. Uh, they've, they've had some very good looks. J.C. Hillsman had an open lane to either dunk or lay it in, could not finish. Jalen James has had several opportunities to score the basketball. He's 0 for 3. Brandon Clark took a wild possession type of shot. Ryan Wellage couldn't connect from distance. And so far, the Spartans have started 0 for 8 from the field. Meanwhile, at least it's a Aztec team that also started off rather skittish. They're three of seven from the field, 43% so far. Uh, but it wasn't until Malik Pope hit the game's first basket, one from distance, and really well beyond the arc, a few feet, a few steps beyond the three-point line. Malik Pope got things going in this game. So the Spartans, I think, have to feel lucky that it's only a seven-point lead right now for the Aztecs. But uh, Spartans trying to sort things out. Clarify, fix things up. Jalen James will come out of the basketball game and Isaiah Nichols, the freshman, enters for the Spartans. Darrell Williams, Zylan Cheatham, and Gil Caesar, Monte Gil Caesar come in. That's the rotation really that they'll use. Uh, they'll use a, about a nine or 10 man rotation. To get in, depending on matchups. Wellage on a rotation left side, 17 seconds to shoot as the Spartans have it. Terrell Brown up fake, drives, kicks to Nichols, crosses over, made his man almost fall over, and Nichols goes up and is fouled. Well, he went on a crossover, and De'Aaro Williams got tangled up and fell to his backside. Uh, they call that an ankle breaker. Now, Isaiah Nichols can at least give the Spartans some points from the free throw line despite the fact that they still have not hit a shot from the field. Here's Nichols at the line. First is good. Well, at least that gets them on the board. And from Isaiah Nichols, who is just a 40% free throw shooter this year. His second is also good. He's much more confident now, though, at this point in the year than he was earlier in the season. Spartans will press after the free throw make. Wellage trying to get to the possession. A long outlet pass comes into Gill Caesar and gives back to Cheatham in between the circles. To the right side goes De'Aaron Williams into the paint. He's cut off. A bounce on a backdoor feed. Rising up was Brandon Clark to try and contest. It goes out of play. It's off of the Aztecs last and the Spartans with a nice defensive stand against San Diego State. And the game's fifth turnover is the third for the Aztecs. Now the Aztecs will pressure themselves as they try to double team Isaiah Nichols. He outlets ahead to Ryan Wellage. Hillsman pulls it back down on the exchange left wing. 20 seconds to shoot. Nichols bounce again. The feed to Hillsman. The drive. Draws some contact. Goes up and had that ball blocked. It's bobbled by the Aztecs and punched out of play. It will be a Spartan basketball. Now Hillsman's got to have the vision there. And it's tough to do as Izundu came into the game. But Izundu was the second man behind at six foot ten. He, you're not going to get a shot over him if you can't get it over the first man. Here's Brandon Clark on the inbound. The floater right off the first touch while he was airborne wouldn't go. Rebound Aztecs. So Spartans now 0 for 10 from the field to start off the game. Gil Caesar, left wing. One-on-one -on -one with Hillsman. Bounce pass now to Cheatham. Cheatham running in and fires down low, looking for that backdoor feed to Izundu. And it's poked out of play off of the Spartans. Isaac Thornton will come in for Isaiah Nichols. It's 7-2. 14-57 remaining in the first. Perhaps not the start you were expecting. Cheatham 
on the inbound. Goes up, had that ball stripped out of his hands, and a foul is called against Brandon Clark. Kind of a late whistle as that ball went skyward about 15, 20 feet into the air. But Brandon Clark called for that personal foul, the first team foul for the Spartans. And apparently it was a shooting foul, so Zylan Cheatham will go to the free throw line here. Zylan Cheatham averaging 10 points per game, the leading rebounder on the Aztecs. Six and a half per game. First free throw is good as he rattled it in. The Spartans have struggled in the first five minutes of games this season. And this may be one of the biggest in terms of struggles. Second free throw good. So Cheetah makes it a 9-2 basketball game. San Diego State leading. Brown, the long outlet, jumping up to receive on the baseline right side was Isaac Thornton. Pulled it back down and gave outside to Brown. Brown to the elbow for Brandon Clark. Dribbles down the lane and floats one up and banks it home. It's not going to be easy tonight for Brandon Clark. I think that the Aztecs have established that here early on, but that is the first basket for the Spartans to start off the game after going 0 for 10. A drive, a kick to Kell. Now a rotation outside. Gil Caesar angling in, and he Montague runs Gilles up Caesar. and drops it in off the glass. On take, Gil Caesar with the basket. Wellage gets the outlet pass, now wants to attack. He's stripped to the ball and fumbled around by a couple of Aztec players rolling away from them underneath the Spartan basket, and it just harmlessly rolls out of play and out of reach of Cheatham's long arms. A nice crowd on hand, especially the student section. One of the better student sections we've had in recent memory right now. Almost two full sections. Fans on both end zones. 22 seconds on the shot clock as the Spartans will inbound down 11 to four. Clark left side for J.C. Hillsman. Back up top to Terrell Brown. Goes around the screen, stutter step move right to the rim and floats it up and it's swatted away by Izundu. Terrell Brown, I think that was the right decision by him. But just a hair late, maybe a bit of a hesitation. And Izundu was waiting. One of the best shot blockers in the Mountain West Conference. Spartans still have it, though, as it went out of play. Now Wellage takes a deep three on the way. No, soft bounce off the right side of the rim. Wouldn't go. 11-4, Aztecs leading. A lob underneath to the right side block for Malik Pope, trying to back down against Brandon Clark. Now Wellage has him on a switch. Crossover dribble, mid-range jumper, back iron miss, and a battle for the rebound. Izundu goes over the back of Brandon Clark, and... No foul called. Brandon Clark apparently touched that out of play. Brandon Clark had positioning there. It seemed as though Izundu came over the back. But apparently not so. So Trey Kell will inbound. And Isaac Thornton almost stole the inbound. It's fumbled up into the air. Grabbed by the Aztecs. Gil Caesar for three. No good. And the long rebound collected by Terrell Brown. He skips ahead to J.C. Hillsman, puts it on the floor, kicks it out for Brandon Mitchell. Mitchell driving in to the lane. Jump step, right hand hook Brandon shot falls. Mitchell. Brandon Mitchell came into the game and made his presence felt on his first few seconds of play. 11-6, Aztecs the lead. 13 minutes remaining in the first. Kell dribble handoff. Now has it again to the right side he goes. Weaves into the paint, kick out Malik Pope. Three ball, no. And up for the rebound. The Aztecs, well, there's a foul on the floor against Brandon Mitchell on the box out. Spartans, that's their third, or rather second team foul. First personal to Brandon Mitchell. And it came off of a three-point miss where the Spartans secured the rebound. Nichols comes back in as Hillsman takes a seat. 11-6, Aztecs. And it's Malik Pope now. Pope to his left, Hemsley around, skips it over to Allen, thought about the three, squared up, set his feet, now crossed over and traveled with it. Allen tried the jab, tried the jab to his left, then to the right, and then went one more time after a head fake, and that was enough for the travel. Their fourth turnover of the first half. Spartans 2 of 14 from the field, Aztecs 4 of 11 from the field. 
Now Nichols takes it right side, drifts across to the left. They play catch with Isaac Thornton. Nichols gets it back, wants to drive, cut off by Pope. Rotated left side once more for Mitchell. Holding the ball above his head, skips it back to in between the circles where Thornton has it. Thornton on the dribble drive. Scoops it outside for a Brandon Clark opportunity. Skips it across to Nichols. Flags it down in the air. Three seconds to shoot. He kicks out. Terrell Brown has to hoist up a desperation three, and he got it! Unbelievable! Don't even know if he was looking at the rim. And he got it. Terrell Brown. And it was nothing but net. A high arcer from distance with a hand in his face. They'll take a look at this to see whether or not he got it off in time. But much like we saw Isaac Thornton do in New Mexico, desperation turned into three points. And this being a televised game, the officials should have a very good look at this basket. And it is good. Terrell Brown. Terrell Brown with his first shot to go down in this game. Feels like a big one. And as the Spartans now down 11 to 9. And their first three-point basket of the game. The Aztecs have not scored in two minutes and 10 seconds. Brandon Clark will come out for a moment. Ryan Wellage will re-enter for him. So the Spartans have Nichols, Thornton, Brown, Wellage, and Mitchell on the floor right now. Spartans pressing Brown with Malik Pope right there. They try to double team with Wellage and Hemsley gets the outlet, takes it across the timeline, swings it over to his left and hits the brakes as he takes on the defense. Looks to be the Spartans in their man-to-man -man defense still. Hemsley the up fake, the drive to the left, tried to strip it was Brandon Mitchell. He rises in the lane, couldn't get that teardrop to go. Physical rebound pulled away by Isaac Thornton and the Spartans have the possession. Nichols, working one-on-one, -on -one, brings it up top. He sees a man-to-man -man defense as well. Nichols, right-hand dribble. Goes over to his right, dribble handoff Isaac Thornton. Chest pass back to the left side for Brown. Wanted the pass down low, pulls up for the mid-range jumper, was fouled from behind as he took that shot. Well, that's another element to the game from Terrell Brown. A lot of times this year we've seen him drive that basketball, not pull up for the mid-range, the elbow jumper. And I think that's exactly what happened. They anticipated the drive, and when he rose up, he drew the contact. So he'll go to the free throw line when we return with the Spartans down 11 to nine. 11-24 reigning in the first half. You're listening to Spartan Basketball from Learfield. Back here inside the event center with the Spartans trail 11 to nine. 11-24 remaining in the first half. Spartans with some free throws coming out of this timeout coming from Terrell Brown. Scott Seafood is a Bay Area tradition in the heart of downtown San Jose. Their American regional cuisine features the freshest seafood, pasta, chicken dishes, and USDA Prime. Dry aged steaks. Relax with a drink from their full bar and let the professional wait staff help you choose the perfect wine to complement your meal. Enjoy the views of San Jose and the surrounding hills of Silicon Valley from the sixth floor. The interior is inviting for all occasions from casual dining, special events, business meetings, or your next outing. That's Scott Seafood in downtown San Jose. Well, it was a 0 for 10 start from the field for the Spartans, but since that point, Spartans have gone three of five from the field. One of those being a three ball from Terrell Brown and have pulled back to just a couple of points with the Aztecs. And San Diego State has not scored in three minutes now. And Terrell Brown will go to the free throw line to try and tie things up in this first half. Meanwhile, the Aztecs, they're four of 12 from the field. It has not been a good shooting night for either team. Four turnovers from the Aztecs, two from the Spartans. The Spartans are leading the rebounding in terms of uh, the overall 10 to nine. Terrell Brown at the line for two. His first rolls through. Terrell Brown has had three consecutive games of double figure scoring. His last one, 17 points, the new career high for the freshman. That was on the road at New Mexico. Now the next free throw, also good. And this game now is tied at 11. Aztecs have it. Hemsley, right side, Malik Pope along the half court line, trying to go against Isaiah Nichols, dribbles to his right, gets past that half court stripe, and works it back outside to Hemley, Hemsley with his heels on the logo at midcourt. Hemsley surveying, 10 seconds to shoot for Hemsley, lobs ahead to Pope. Pope catches a double team for a moment, backs up, seven seconds to shoot. One on one with Mitchells, drops it down low to the block on the right side, spin move from Kell, no good. Rebound, Ryan Wellage. 
Out ahead, Isaiah Nichols. Nichols barking out the play call for the Spartans with 10.45 remaining in the first. Isaac now on the left angle as he walks up between the circles. Just scoops it over to Mitchell. Mitchell to Nichols now lining up a three ball. Ryan Wellage halfway down and out, no good. Rebound Aztecs. Hemsley gets it very quickly. Takes him on a stutter step against Brown. Right down Broadway, off the glass and good. Jeremy Hemsley. Jeremy Hemsley has not been a very good perimeter shooter in the last four games for the Aztecs, but that time he's able to drive and finish in the mid-range. Aztecs take the lead back 13 to 11. Mitchell, left side, dribbles a couple of times, takes it between his legs now, crosses over down the left side of the lane, high off the glass, no good. Swiped up at, in the air, and right to Trey Kell, sprinting his way down the far side, goes to the rim, he goes up, lays it in, and got fouled. Trey Kell, boy, that was speed, aggression, and perseverance right there. Trey Kell with second basket of the game. The foul, the third for the Spartans. And it goes against Isaiah Nichols, his first personal, as he takes a seat with Brandon Mitchell. Clark comes back in. The and one free throw, no good. Wellage gets the rebound. Terrell Brown splits the defense, taking it down the lane, tips it out to Isaac Thornton. Had the mid-range opportunity, did not take it out to J.C. Hillsman. Now into the corner. It's Brandon Clark, fires it down low, and it's off of the hand of Dakari Allen guarding against... Ryan Wellage, he had position in front of Wellage to disrupt that passing lane, and it knocked it out of play. 16 seconds to shoot for the Spartans, who are down by four, 15 to 11. The lob into Brandon Clark. Clark secures, drives in, leaves his feet, runner good. Brandon Clark. The Aztecs are going to try and defend that with just lengthy guys down low. And Clark, it'll be interesting to see how he adjusts to that, because this is more size and leaping ability from the Aztecs defense than any other team in the conference. Hemsley to his left, lost his defender for a moment, skipped it back to Dakari Allen, up fake on the three, drives in and floats in the runner. Well, that was Dakari Allen. You got to know that he is not a three-point threat. If he up fakes on you, you got to stick to your feet. He is 29% from three this year. If he hits one, good for him. I think that's the way you have to look at the defense. Brown to his right, feathered into the corner. Up fake from Isaac Thornton. He takes a deep two, and it goes halfway down and out. No good, rattled around. 17-13. Aztecs leading. Kell now to his right. Off of his dribble, Allen again. The up fake. Tried it once more from the perimeter. That time, Isaac Thornton stuck with him. Now Malik Pope spins on his left shoulder. Got the shot up. It was no good. Rimmed out. Came down to Isaac Thornton, and from behind him, he was fouled by Valentine Izundu. First, first personal foul for Izundu, fifth team foul for the Aztecs with 8.33 remaining in the first. Four point Aztec lead. Wellage looking to inbound, gets it into Hillsman along the baseline as the full court press still being applied. Hillsman off of his dribble, long outlet to Isaac Thornton who wants to attack, bounces it over to Wellage, had that pass broken up, gets it back, right through the defense, weaves his way down the lane and finishes with a finger roll. Isaac Thornton making something out of nothing right there. Spartans down by two, 17 to 15. Coach Fisher in the ear of one of the officials for some reason. I think that he maybe thought that the Spartans committed a foul trying to get that ball back. Kell gets the outlet feed in between the circles. Kell holding the ball low on the floor, takes it left side, almost lost his dribble, still hangs onto the basketball as he's off the dribble looking for help. Allen on the outlet feed. Hemsley rises for three. That's a back iron miss, no good. Wellage the rebound. And that was one of the things to keep in mind. If Jeremy Hemsley hits his first three, it's not good. He's one of those shooters that can get in rhythm if he sees the first one go down. That was his first attempt from beyond the arc. It was online, but too strong. 17-15, Brown working into the free throw line. Takes the jumper, and the net did not move as it went on through. Terrell Brown was seven. And we're back to a tie at 17. Hemsley on the drive. Knocks over J.C. Hillsman. And Hillsman is called for the blocking foul as the shot goes in and one. 
Free throw to come when we return to the event center. It's the Aztecs 19, the Spartans 17, with 7-16 remaining in the first half. A break in the action from Walt McPherson Court. You're listening to Spartan Basketball from Learfield. Back inside the event center, 19-17. Aztecs with the lead, 7-16 remaining in the first half. It's been an up and down first half for the Spartans who started off 0 of 10 from the field. Then got rolling on offense, provided uh, with a nice run as the Aztecs did not score in a span of three minutes. And it's been really Spartans trying to play catch up throughout this first half where they are six of 21 from the field. And the Aztecs, meanwhile, they're eight of 19 from the field and one of five from distance. Out of the timeout, it's Hemsley at the free throw line to complete the and one, and he does. Gives the Aztecs a three point lead. Hillsman the inbound, gets it back. Looking for options as he's facing the press. Kell with him, slips to the floor. Kept his dribble alive, though. Outlets ahead to Isaac Thornton. Thornton drives in, scoops across for Brandon Clark. Tries to finish with a long right hand, and he can't get it to fall. Spartans another missed opportunity there. Zylan Cheatham in transition outside to Hemsley. Rose up, traveled with it. Hemsley commits the fifth turnover of the half for the Aztecs. Coach Fisher just kind of has a a grin on his face at the same time is giving a stare that no player would want to see from their head coach. Wellage will inbound right in front of us, and now Wellage gets the touch pass back from Hillsman. Hillsman up top for Terrell Brown, who has seven first half points for the Spartans. A crossover now, a chest pass feed to Hillsman, who was on the wing, holding the ball above his head, skips it across to Isaac Thornton, catches with two hands, spins it down low on a bounce to Clark. Clark to Wellage, driving in, rises up, had his shot blocked, and he was fouled as he had that shot blocked. Malik Pope got his hand, and Malik Pope called for the first personal foul of his evening, and the sixth team foul for the Aztecs. Here goes Ryan Wellage to the free throw line for San Jose State. Ryan Wellage, who has yet to score in this game. First one is a knockdown. Ryan Wellage is so far 0 for 3, all from beyond the arc. Isaac Thornton will take his seat. Replacing him was Jalen James. Cody Schwartz getting ready to check in. And he will come in for J.C. Hillsman. Martin's still looking for some boost on offense here with six and a half to play in the first. And maybe Cody Schwartz can come in and be lightning in a bottle. Rowledge, second free throw, good. One point game, Aztecs with the lead. Six and a half to play, Hemsley walking it up for the Aztecs, waiting for a screen from Cheatham, goes around it, lobs on the back door to Cheatham, who catches, goes up and lays it in. Beautiful pick and roll right there from Cheatham and the Aztecs. Zylan Cheatham has four first half points, and the Aztecs are on top, 22 to 19. James feeds across right side, Brown around a screen from Ryan Wellich, he catches, and his runner is good from down the lane. Ryan Wellich has four. That was his first shot to go down from the field, and it's still a one-point game. This time we have a foul coming away from the basketball. It's an offensive foul. It's against Montaque Gill Caesar. Gill Caesar's first personal, the seventh team foul for the Aztecs. Aztecs still facing the Spartans with this press. And the inbound of Terrell Brown as he catches with two hands, trying to work against Hemsley. A touch pass down to Ryan Wellich, sprinting across the half-court line, and he throws the lob on the backdoor feed, knifing through the defense. Brandon Clark soars in for the jam. And the Spartans take their first lead to the basketball game, 23 to 22. Five and a half to play in the first. Hemsley waiting for a screen, goes to the right side, tries to go up against Brandon Clark. Clark got into the body of Hemsley as Hemsley was airborne. And that foul is called on Brandon Clark, his second personal foul. And now Hemsley will go to the line for two. That is the fifth team foul to the Spartans. Brandon Clark's second personal foul. Got to be careful. 
Brandon Clark only played six first half minutes against the Aztecs earlier this season. And then went off in the second half, but it was too late. Hemsley's first free throw does not go. Hemsley, who is a 67% free throw shooter. Cody Schwartz comes out, and so does Brandon Clark. Hillsman and Mitchell check back in for the Spartans. Hemsley waiting for his second free throw. Gets the ball, and the sophomore right-hander puts it up and down. Jeremy Hemsley ties the game back up at 23. Spartans held their first lead, albeit a brief one, but had that one-point lead. Hillsman waiting to get it in, and he stepped in bounds as he was running on the baseline, looking for players to pass it into, and Hillsman stepped in play. That's a turnover and a unforced one from JC. The third turnover of the first half for the Spartans. And it gives the Aztecs the ball right underneath their own hoop. Lob into Cheatham. Cheatham, catch pass to Kell. Kell crosses over right side, jumps up at the elbow, throws across to the left, and he threw it out of play. Well, thank you very much, Trey Kell. Spartans catching a break. That was the seventh turnover of the half for the Aztecs. And the Aztecs averaged just 12 turnovers a game. There's still five minutes left in the first. Brandon Mitchell gets the inbound, touches to Jalen James. He goes up, tries to dunk the basketball with the right hand. Zylan Cheatham went up to contest and fouled him. And for Cheatham, I think that's a wise foul. You, you have to try and block that. If you foul him, it's okay. You can't give up easy points. Cheatham's first personal foul, the eighth team foul for the Aztecs. And now Jalen James, who is at 86% from the line this season, goes for two. His first is good. The Spartans back on top by one, 24 to 23. Been a fun one so far in the first half from the event center. James, second free throw. Yes. The Spartans lead by two. This game has been close. The Aztecs started with a 7-0 lead. But since then, the Spartans have been right with San Diego State. Kell maneuvers to his right side. Cheatham catches it, driving against Brandon Mitchell. Stripped to the basketball and right to Ryan Wellage. Wellage gives to James. James trailing to Wellage. Fumbled the pass for a moment. Scoops it back for Brown. The give and go right to Ryan Wellage. Lays it in on a backdoor feed. And the drive on the baseline right side. Ryan Wellage, a beautiful finish for the Spartans. And Terrell Brown, the vision on the give and go. 27 to 23, Spartans with the lead. And a timeout called by San Diego State. The Aztecs using their first timeout of the half with 4.46 remaining in the first. That was beautiful basketball right there. Wellage, Brown played in sync. And precision passing got the Spartans the basket. Remember, they were 0 of 10 to start this half, and since then, they're 9 of 15. Meanwhile, the Aztecs 9 of 20 in this first half. Only two three-point baskets in this game, one for each team. 27-23. 4.46 remaining in the first. The inbound will come from Malik Pope of the Aztecs moving right to left. Trey Kell has it. Kell dribbles right, bounces back to Dakari Allen. Allen holding the ball with two hands on his left hip, gives to Gil Caesar on the left side wing. Looking to post up Malik Pope, couldn't get it to him. Gil Caesar now separates himself for a free throw line jumper. It is no good. We got a foul underneath the basket coming off the miss. Ryan Wellage called for the personal foul. That's the second time in this game that the Spartans committed a foul off of a miss and also got the rebound. Those are the types of possessions that you need to get the rebounds on. You can't give teams like San Diego State second chance opportunities. Dakari Allen bounces to Pope. Pope, good vision outside, a catch, a drive. Gil Caesar cannot finish. It rolls around the rim. The rebound taken away by the Spartans. Brown pushing in transition. Mitchell gets it, goes up, can't lay it in. Rebound is good from Jalen James. 
And did he get called for goaltending? Yes. Oh, no, it was basket interference on the Aztecs. Brandon Mitchell gets the basket. A lot going on at the rim right there. And it ends up being a Spartan bucket. 29-23, Spartan lead. Their largest of the game is right now. Dakari Allen has it on the right side. Gil Caesar up top. Spartans dropping down. Floating it right side is Allen. Allen has it, skips back to Gil Caesar, reversed into the corner for Malik Pope. Dribbles to his right side, five seconds to shoot. Pope outside, catching it is Allen. Dribbles up, takes a deep three, halfway down and out, no good. Offensive rebound, Izundu goes up. That was no good, punched out of play by the Spartans. On that rebound try with 3.33 remaining in the first. It's a 29-23 Spartan lead. A break in the action from the Event Center. You're listening to Spartan Basketball from Learfield. Back inside the Event Center, it's 29-23 Spartans with the lead over San Diego State. It's a 6-0 run in the last two minutes for the Spartans. The Aztecs who have turned the basketball over nine times in the first half have been reeling throughout the course of this first half. Both teams shooting 38% from the field. Nine of 24 are the Aztecs. 10 of 26 are San Jose State. The game's leading scorer for the Spartans. That's Terrell Brown, seven points. The Spartans also have six from Brandon Clark and Ryan Wellage. They're being out-rebounded by a margin of two. The Aztecs have four offensive rebounds. The Spartans with four as well. But it's been a fun and entertaining basketball game. The big difference in this first half, though, points off the turnover. 13 points off the turnover for the Spartans, and the Aztecs have yet to score off of a turnover, and only because the Spartans have committed three. That's been a big, big difference in this first half and allow the Spartans to kind of get back into it where they started off so cold. They weren't out of it by any means, but... It was a chilling start to this game where they were 0 of 10 from the field, but are now 10 of 26 in the first half. Out of the timeout, the Aztecs will have possession, and they will inbound underneath their own basket, down 29 to 23. Spartans guarding the inbound. It comes into Izundu, rotated left side. Allen has it around for, for Hemsley. Hemsley. With Brown on him, hand extended in his face. Spartans in their man-to-man -man defense. Out for Trey Kell, around for Hemsley once more. Short corner, Pope, crossover dribble. Backs down against Brandon Mitchell, weaves it outside to Allen. Allen to Hemsley once more. Good defense from the Spartan, closing out from Brown. Hemsley runs up, it was no good. Offensive rebound, Izundu goes up. He got fouled and laid it in. And that's the offensive rebounding ability from San Diego State right there. And in that case, they got the basket and one. So Valentine Izundu goes to the free throw line in a 29-25 lead for the Spartans. Aztecs are one of their last six from the field. Thornton comes in for J.C. Hillsman. Brandon Clark still sitting on the bench with two personal fouls in this half. Will the Spartans try and get Brandon back in in this first half or Wait for three minutes and seven more seconds in the first half. Free throw goes through by Izundu. Thornton waiting to throw in. And he gets it into Brandon Mitchell. Mitchell going in two on two in transition, really off of that inbound. And hit the brakes to set up the offense for the Spartans. 29-26, three minutes to play. Brown. Looking, 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 crosses over, jumps over to throw out to Isaac Thornton, a catch and shoot three. That's an air ball from Isaac over the top of the rim and grabbed by Kell. Kell takes it left side against Jalen James, loses control of the basketball, turns it over to James. James out to Isaac Thornton. Thornton all the way in with a right hand lay in. Transition bucket right there for the Spartans and more points off the turnover for San Jose State. That was the 10th turnover of the half for the Aztecs, 31-26. Hemsley in between the circles, calmly walks up, fires outside on a catch and shoot, three ball from Matt Shrigley, no. Battle for the rebound, bodies falling to the court, rolls out to Brandon Mitchell. 
He outlets to Jalen James, and James will hold up for his point guard, Terrell Brown, with two minutes to play in the first half. 31-26, Spartans. Brown looking up top. The Spartans will get their personnel lined up along the baseline. Brandon Mitchell now comes up with 10 seconds to shoot. A screen for Brown. He rises up from the elbow, and he got it on the left side. Terrell Brown, another clutch shot for the freshman point guard who has nine first half points. It's 33 to 26, San Jose State. Now Kell, in between the circles against Isaac Thornton, goes to his right side, outside, catch and shoot three. Hemsley, that's good from the corner. Hemsley and the Aztecs needed that. 33-29, Spartans with the lead, 1.15 to play in the first. Brown again holding the basketball. Coach Wojcik calling out the play for the Spartans, who will make their move along the baseline with 14 seconds to shoot. Wellage a screen for Brown. He attacks the rim, tries to dump it down low to Brandon Mitchell. He collects, kicks it out to Jalen James, throws it away, and out of play. Terrell Brown. Coach Wojcik saying, shoot that ball. Don't dump it off. Terrell Brown's the hot hand. Got to use it. So... Coach Wojcik will make a substitution. Nichols will come in for Jalen James. Under a minute to play in the first, 33-29. Spartan lead, they're six of the last seven from the field. The Aztecs have made 10 turnovers in this first half. The Spartans have converted on 15 points off of those turnovers. Now Kell on a crossover, loses his defender, rises up for three, that was no good. Box out Cheatham, gets the rebound outside to Shrigley. Shrigley on a pivot step, bounces it to Kell. Kell takes it against Isaac, or rather uh, Isaiah Nichols, rises up for a fadeaway, that was no good. Izundu the offensive rebound, goes back up, his shot no good. Another offensive rebound for the Aztecs, they can't get it back. Now a third shot will come as they grab the loose ball as it rolled on the floor, Cheatham with 20 seconds to shoot. The Aztecs will play for the final shot of the half. Boy, the Aztecs had every opportunity to score a basket right there. But I gotta find out how many they missed right there because there were several opportunities. Hemsley crosses over five seconds to shoot, had that ball blocked by Isaac Thornton. Loose ball came out to Brown, a heave from 60 feet away is no good. And the Spartans have the lead at halftime, 33 to 29 over San Diego State. What a great first half it was for the Spartans, persevering through a very cold start to this basketball game and coming away with the lead at halftime, 33 to 29. Don't go anywhere, halftime show coming your way when we return to the event center. Take a look at the scores from out of town. We'll also review the first half with stats when we come back. 33-29, Spartan lead at halftime. You're listening to Spartan Basketball from Learfield. Welcome back inside the event center on our team clinic halftime show where the Spartans have a 33-29 lead over the Aztecs at the midway point of this basketball game. On our team clinic halftime show, we'll take a look at some of the scores from around the Mountain West Conference. We'll also give you all the first half stats in this one. But first, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to the Spartan Basketball Radio Network from Learfield. Justin Legri back with you from inside the event center. Spartans 33, Aztecs 29 at halftime. Let's get you updated on some of the scores from around the Mountain West Conference here this evening. There was one other game on this Tuesday in Mountain West Conference play, and it's a final score from Fort Collins, Colorado. Colorado State 69, Utah State 52, as Colorado State moves to 16 and 9 overall this season. They're 8 and 4 in Mountain West Conference action, despite only playing with seven players on their roster. Really have played very, very well here the last few weeks. Utah State falling to 10 and 13 overall, 4 and 8 in Mountain West Conference play. Gian Clavel for Colorado State. He had 24 points with six threes in that game to beat Utah State this evening. And the games tomorrow to be played. New Mexico on the road at Air Force from Clune Arena in Colorado Springs. Air Force 10 and 13 overall, three and seven in Mountain West Conference play. New Mexico 14 and 10, seven and five in Mountain West Conference basketball play this year. Those, are the, those two teams will be meeting for the only time this season 
on the road at Air Force. At 6 o'clock tomorrow, Fresno State up in Laramie, Wyoming in the Arena Auditorium. Fresno State 14 and 9. They just had the loss to San Diego State in Fresno. They're 6 and 5 overall in conference play. 15 and 9 are the Cowboys at 5 and 6 in conference action. And the third and final game tomorrow evening will be the in-state rivals. UNLV Rebels going against the Wolfpack of Nevada. UNLV 10 and 14, 3 and 8 in conference play. The Wolfpack, 18 and 5, 7 and 3 in Mountain West Conference, play a half game out of first place in the conference standings. That game at 8 o'clock tip off from Lawler Event Center in Reno, Nevada tomorrow evening. That's a look at some of the scores from around the Mountain West Conference. We'll take a break on our Team Clinic halftime show. When we return, we'll talk some team numbers in this first half where the Spartans hold the lead 33 to 29 over San Diego State. You're listening to Spartan Basketball from Learfield. Back inside the event center, 33-29, Spartans with the lead at halftime. Back on the Team Clinic halftime show. Team Clinic is the official chiropractic and sports therapy clinic. Leaders in the drug and surgery free approaches to injuries. They've been the trusted choice of top pro and college athletes for almost 20 years. Team Clinic, get out of pain and on top of your game. The Spartans on top, 33-29 over the Aztecs. Let's get you the team numbers in the first half of play between these two schools. 11 of 32 were the Aztecs. They're 34% from the field. 2 of 10 from beyond the arc, 20%. And 5 of 7 from the free throw line. They committed 10 first half turnovers in this one and the Spartans converted off of those turnovers 15 points in the first half. Meanwhile, the rebounding went to San Diego State 21 to 16 in favor of the Aztecs and they had four assists on 11 made baskets in the first half. Meanwhile, the Spartans 41% from the field, 12 of 29, one of five from distance, eight of eight from the free throw line in that first half where the Spartans committed four first half turnovers. The Aztecs did not score a single point off of those turnovers. Spartans had seven assists on 12 made baskets in the first half. Head to head numbers, points in the paint favored San Jose State, 16 to 14. I mentioned the points off the turnover, 15 nothing in favor of the Spartans, and the bench points favored San Jose State as well, 10 to 9 over the Aztecs. It was a sluggish, slow start for San Jose State. They were 0 of 10 from the field. And the first 10 shots in this game looked out of sync, but kept the Aztecs close despite the fact that they started 0 for 10. The Aztecs only had a 7-0 lead before the Spartans got to work on offense. They finished the half after going 0 for 10. They were 12 of 19 after that. So the Spartans did a great job recovering after a very poor start to this basketball game. And after that, the Spartans made their way to a lead and they led for five and a half minutes of that first half. 33-29, the halftime score. We'll take a break and talk individual numbers when we return to the event center on the Team Clinic Halftime Show. You're listening to Spartan Basketball from Learfield. Back on our Team Clinic Halftime Show from inside the event center. 33-29, Spartan lead at the midway point of play here this evening. Let's get you the individual numbers in the first half for the Spartans and the Aztecs. The game-high scorer in the first half, Terrell Brown for the Spartans. He had nine first-half points. He was three of five from the field for the Spartans, and he was one of one from beyond the arc. That one was a heave and a desperate three that he got to go through as the shot clock expired. Nine first-half points for him in 20 minutes of play. Brandon Clark and Ryan Wellage both check in with six points. Brandon Clark was three of six, Ryan Wellage two of five from the field. Ryan Relich was 0 of 3 from beyond the arc in that first half, though. And meanwhile, Brandon Clark committed two first-half personal fouls, so he uh, was limited to 12 minutes of play, which is double the amount of minutes that he played in the first half of the first meeting between these two schools earlier this season. Four points from Brandon Mitchell off the bench for the Spartans. Same with Isaac Thornton. Both of those players, two of three from the field. And Isaiah Nichols added in two points from the free throw line for San Jose State. Meanwhile, the Aztecs had nine points from Jeremy Hemsley. He was three of eight from the field, one of three from beyond the arc in that first half. His nine points led all Aztec scorers. Trey Kell had four points with seven first half rebounds. All defensive boards for Trey Kelp. Four points for him, two of six from the field. Dakari Allen also two of four from the field. He had four points in 14 minutes for the Aztecs and four points from Zylan Cheatham off of the bench in five minutes of play. Eight offensive rebounds collected by the Aztecs in that first half out of their 21 
total rebounds. Four of those offensive boards came from Valentine Izundu, who only played 14 minutes, had three points, four rebounds. All four were offensive boards. He had one block in the first half. But the Spartans lead it at halftime, 33 to 29. The points off the turnover, the big number for San Jose State as the Aztecs committed 10 first half fouls and the Spartans committed uh, converting on 15 points off of those turnovers. The Aztec did not have a single point off of a San Jose State turnover in the first half. Don't go anywhere. When we return, we'll have the second half action from the event center when we come back to Walt McPherson Court where the Spartans are ahead at the midway point, 33-29 over San Diego State. You're listening to Spartan Basketball from Learfield. Back inside the event center as the Spartans and the Aztecs. In that first half where the Spartans score 33 to the Aztecs 29 back inside the event center just about to get underway in the second half of play here this evening. The Aztecs, those 10 first half turnovers uh, really plagued them. In fact, their season high in turnovers of 18 came against San Jose State earlier this season back on January 10th. So the Spartans have been a mismatch for the Aztecs in terms of keeping the basketball and Spartans have had those active hands. A lot of players with a good amount of ability to steal the basketball. Isaac Thornton, Brandon Mitchell being a couple of them. But the Spartans with steals from Terrell Brown, Jalen James, Brandon Mitchell in that first half. Active hands from Isaac Thornton disrupting passing lanes. And it all added up to 10 turnovers for the Aztecs in that first half. And the Spartans convert, uh, converting on 15 points off of those turnovers in the first half of play. Both their teams making their way off the court right now as we get ready for the second half of play. Here tonight, the Spartans who are trying to defeat the Aztecs for the first time since 1999. And the Aztecs who are just 10 and 25 all time here in San Jose are down at halftime. What a great crowd on hand. The student section is full inside the event center. Uh, both end zones have fans and students sitting in them as well. San Diego State generally travels a good amount of fans as well. There is a, a fair amount of red behind me and to my right behind the Aztec bench. But the Spartans getting ready to make their way back onto the court in their gold jerseys with the blue trim down the side while the Aztecs in their black jerseys walking out onto the floor as well. Spartans with three timeouts remaining had to use their first half one that they would lose. And they used it at an opportune time where the Spartans just were not getting going on offense. The Aztecs used their timeout in a spot where the Spartans were putting a run together and the Aztecs had not scored in three minutes of play. And the Aztecs will come out with a different looking five than their starters. They have Hemsley, Kell, Allen, Pope, and Izundu. Shrigley, who started for the Aztecs, is not the person to start the second half. Spartans with the basketball to begin play in the second half. And it is James, Hillsman, Brown, Clark, and Wellage, the Spartans starting five on the floor to begin the second half of play. Spartans move right to left in the second half, and Wellage will inbound to Jalen James. Underway from the event center in the second half. Spartans lead 33-29. Wellage looking to his left, floats a chest back to Brown. Back over to James. James cuts across to his right, touches it down low for Brandon Clark. Clark backs away, lobs underneath for Ryan Wellage, turns around, tried to get a hook shot up. It was no good. A block shot. Now a three opportunity from Jalen James. That was blocked. Cutting through the defense is Brandon Clark and is the beneficiary of a bullet of a pass from Jalen James. The two-hand flush from Brandon Clark. Eight points for Clark and the Spartan lead 35-29. Allen now bounces down low, a kicked basketball from Terrell Brown. Coach Wojcik giving a sign of good effort from Terrell Brown to disrupt that pass. And the Spartans with Trey Kell inbounding will guard against him. The bounce to Hemsley, 17 seconds to shoot. Hemsley driving and angles down the lane and kisses it off the glass for the basket. Hemsley has eight points for the Aztecs. Spartans ahead by four. James to his right side. 
Terrell Brown lining up an opportunity, pulled it back down and gave it over to Brandon Clark. Now a bounce pass down low and a foul called against San Diego State. Hemsley held on to Ryan Wellage trying to get post position. And that is the first team foul to the Aztecs, the first to Hemsley in this game. Marks with a fresh 30, the inbound on a lob to Hillsman. Bounces it down low, fumbled around for a moment by Brandon Clark. He rolls over to his right, somehow got a shot up and down with a hook shot, right hand. Brandon Clark was off balance and had his hips twisted away from the basket and got the shot to fall. That's how good he is. Doesn't have to be squared up to the hoop to make a shot. Kell now off the dribble, outside Allen up fake. Stutter step move. Rotates it left side for Kell, drives into the lane. Runner is up, but no good. Tipped up into the air and grabbed by Jalen James. James wanted to push the pace here. Waits for the trailing Wellage. He catches dribble handoff. Brown thought about the three. Jukes over to his right side, hits the brakes, and maneuvers it to Clark. Clark with 15 seconds to shoot. Stops in between the circles, wants to accelerate down the lane, jumps up into the air, high off the right hand, drops it in off the window, and he got fouled. Brandon Clark has taken over in the second half. We're only a minute and a half in, but he's got six points already, 12 overall in the game, and he goes to the line for the and one. Generally, he goes with the spin move. That time, he didn't. Free throw was no good. Brandon Clark missed the free throw, but the Spartans have a 39-31 lead. Hemsley comes out, and De'Arrell Williams comes back in. Spartans guarding on the half-court line. Kell gets it across to Pope. Pope fires right side, catching his Dakari Allen away for the basket. And now going up is Izundu. Izundu is fouled by the Spartans. Coach Wojcik does not like the call. And that shot did not go down, but Izundu will go to the free throw line. Brandon Clark called for his third personal foul. That's an early third personal foul for Brandon Clark, who's got to be careful. The Aztecs are going to try and make him foul as best they can to get him out of the game early in this second half. Izundu, free throw no good. Zundu is not a good free throw shooter. He's 8 of 21 this year. If you're going to foul somebody, that's the guy to do it. But you don't want Brandon Clark being the guilty man. Zundu's second free throw is no good. Batted up into the air and grabbed by Ryan Wellich. The Spartans can make it a 10-point lead here with a basket. Their largest lead of the game right now, 8 points. 7.43 remaining in the second. James drifting over to his right, now shuffles back to his left side, 13 seconds to shoot. Brown gets the dribble handoff in between the circles. He attacks left side, gives out to Brandon Clark, bobbles the possession, had that ball knocked out of his hand from Trey Kell behind him. Best pass wasn't the perfect spot for Brandon Clark. And five seconds on the shot clock, the Spartans will inbound underneath their own basket to the right side baseline. They get it into Brandon Clark. He needs to get a shot away. Elbow outside. He scoops it across for Ryan Wellage. Three ball. Good look at it. And as he left his feet, Brandon Clark, I thought he was going to shoot it, but a great pass. And now a turnover on the other side of the floor. Falling to the court was Malik Pope. Loose ball grabbed by Ryan Wellage. And the Spartans can take opportunity, take advantage of this opportunity again with the Aztecs having not scored in two minutes and three seconds. James to his left. James crosses over, gets a screen from Clark, goes in, bounces outside, Hillsman three ball. That's good from the right corner. J.C. Hillsman, first basket of the game. It's a three ball, and it gives the Spartans a double-digit lead, 11. De'Arrell Williams out to Allen, up fake, drives into the paint, and hoists one up, that's good. Dakari Allen Ice answer to hush the crowd for the time being, but it's a 42-33 Spartan lead. James, cross midcourt, spins around, looks to his left, over his shoulder, now dribbles over to his right side. James crosses back up to Ryan Wellich, looks to his left, Hillsman has it back again. Hillsman right hand dribble, goes in, and a foul is called on the block. 
Well, J.C. Hill's been called for the offensive foul. That charge. That's his third personal foul. J.C. with that three ball. Just his fourth three-pointer this season. Nine-point lead for the Spartans. J.C. frustrated, but he's coming off the court. And Coach Wojcik coaching him up as he exits. He's saying shot fake, shot fake, then finish. Hillsman sits with three personal fouls. Isaac Thornton and Brandon Mitchell come back in for the Spartans. Cheatham left side. Allen catches on the angle. And we have a foul coming away from the basketball. It goes against Jalen James, against Trey Kell. That's the third team foul for the Spartans. Jalen's first personal foul with 16.06 remaining in the second. Holding on is Cheatham. Cheatham dribbles to Kell. Kell takes a contested look at a three, and it's good. Straight on from Trey Kell. And now the Spartans on the inbound turn the basketball over on an errant pass into the San Diego State bench, which will bring us to a timeout on the floor. 15-56 remaining in the second. A 42-36 Spartan lead. A break in the action from the event center. You're listening to Spartan basketball from Learfield. Spartans ahead, 42-36, 15-56 remaining in the second half. And a good time for a timeout on the floor after that turnover. I think Coach Wojcik may have been thinking, hey, let's take a timeout anyway after the Aztecs made a quick push. The Spartans had their lead out to 11. And uh, the Aztecs fighting back, forcing a turnover. We'll have the possession coming out of this timeout. So a nice time to... Sit the team down, Coach Wojcik discussing things with the personnel that will be on the floor when we get back to action. Spartans lead 42 to 36. Wake Up with Wojcik is back, and it's your chance to get some in-depth information from head coach Dave Wojcik. The next event is the final event of the season, February 17th, 7.30 to 8.30 a.m. to RSVP. Please contact Blake Sasaki at blake.sasaki, S-A-S-A-K-I at sjsu.edu. Or call 408-924-3300, 408-924-3300. Spartans who are in this second half, four of seven from the field. Brandon Clark had a very quick six points to start off this second half. Has been on the bench with three personal fouls. He and J.C. Hillsman both with three personals. And when you have the lead, it's, it's okay if you can keep that distance from San Diego State. But at some point, you have to figure that the Aztecs are going to make a run. And the Spartans are going to need to get their sophomore leading scorer back in the game. For the time being, it's all right, though to see him on the bench. Off the inbound, it is a three-point shot that's short, grazing the rim. No good from Dakari Allen, but the offensive rebound comes to the Aztecs. Now it is out to Daryl Williams, throws the lob to Izundu. He couldn't finish on the jam, but another offensive rebound. Kell throws it outside, picked off by Isaac Thornton, leading the three on two. Isaac goes up, had that ball stripped. Loose ball came out to Mitchell. Mitchell outside Wellich, puts it on the deck, rises up for the mid-range jumper, and got it from 12 feet away. Ryan Wellage coming out of a cloud of dust underneath the rim, it seemed. Got the shot to go, 44-36, Spartans with the lead. Kell now, left side, rotates to his right, puts it on the floor, firm pass down low, Cheatham knocks over a defender. He traveled with the basketball, it seemed no call as he jumped into the lane, got the shot up and down. Right. <laughs> One of the officials came by and said, I don't know, Dave, he might have. Well, that's not very reassuring. <laughs> Cheatham gets the basket. That, 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 that's not a, a phrase you want to hear an official say. You want to you hear him say, yes, he did, and I missed it, or no, he didn't. And now Ryan Wellage drives and he gets fouled. Alas, I guess it does not matter at this point. 44-38. It kept Coach Wojcik at bay, I guess. Ryan Wellich to the line. That's the third team foul from the Aztecs. And the second to Zylan Cheatham. Free throw good from Ryan Wellich, who has nine points for the Spartans. Spartans had that lead up to 11. 
And Ryan Wellage trying to make it an eight point lead now with another free throw. Here it comes, and it's good. Ryan Wellage into double figures for the Spartans, and the lead at eight. The Aztecs have committed 12 turnovers in this game. Spartans taking advantage of that. Allen now thought about the three, pulled it back down. Cheatham backing in his defender in the short corner. Weaves outside, blind pass down low on a bounce to Allen. Outside Cheatham again. The 13-foot jump shot's a back iron miss. Skying for the rebound is Zundu grabbing the basketball. Isaac held Thornton. It's a held ball situation. It will be an Aztec ball after that rebound. Well, the Aztecs are crashing the offensive glass, that's for sure. That was their 11th offensive rebound off that miss. And Isaac Thornton just saw the opportunity to get in there and try and grab the possession, but it will be an Aztec basketball. 14-17 left in the second. And a 30-second shot clock here. Malik Pope will come back in for the Aztecs. Izundu takes a seat. Spartans still in their man-to-man -man defense. Spartans went to a box and one against New Mexico. Really was effective. Haven't really seen that yet in this game, but I would imagine it's going to come. Shrigley off the inbound, takes the three. That's a knockdown. Shrigley does not need much of a window to shoot. And that was a small one at that. Now behind the back dribble, it is Williams. A long skip and a beauty of a pass into the corner. And an outlet feed from Brown is picked off by the trailing Cheetah. Wanted to get it to Ryan Wellage, couldn't do it. Here's a bounce to Pope on the post. Underneath the basket for Cheatham. Cheatham goes in for the jam. In a three-point game now as the Aztecs very quickly have cut the deficit down to three. Thornton trying to draw the foul. Thornton dribbling it around the half-court line. He's pinned on a double team. Thornton needing some help. Outlets to Brandon Mitchell over to Terrell Brown. Wide open look for three. It's no good. Mitchell gets the ball, though. Right back to the rim. It's no good. He can't finish on the bunny. That may be one of the plays. You have to look back and say that was a chance to silence the Aztecs. But as it stands, the Aztecs can try and tie or cut the lead to one. Cheatham now, right side wing. Hold the ball on his left hip, over to the left side. Brown steals the pass away to Williams. Out ahead to Mitchell. Mitchell down the lane. He's fouled from behind and undercut. Coach Wojcik saying, hey, that might be an intentional foul. The officials will come together to discuss this one. And they will look at this. Mitchell was all alone underneath the basket, had a step on his defender, and was hit from behind. And the rule generally is that if you have an open opportunity to the rim and a step ahead of the defender, and you get fouled and knocked to the court like that, that's an intentional foul. 46-43, Spartans with the lead. They have not scored in two and a half minutes, though, from the field, and trying to endure the run from the Aztecs. That was one of our keys to the game. The Aztecs, known for their quick burst offense and putting together runs with the way their defense can shut down opponents. Officials coming together to look at the replay. Tony Padilla, Eric Curry, and Steve Olson, the officiating crew for this evening's game. Huddle around the video monitor right now to determine whether or not this is an intentional foul. Non-intentional foul, two shots coming for Brandon Mitchell. Brandon Mitchell coming up with a couple big free throws here, though. Still with plenty of time in this game. Spartans have led for more time than the Aztecs have in this game. Brandon Mitchell, who hasn't had many trips to the free throw line this season. First one is good. Number 42, Jeremy Hensley, number 45. Brandon Mitchell is 11 of 19 from the free throw line this season. Hillsman comes back in. But Brandon Clark is still not on the floor. When will the Spartans get their leading scorer back into the game? Second free throw good. Brandon Mitchell converting on both. 
And now they will get Brandon Clark back in the game. 48-43, Spartans with the lead. Now the Spartans have two players on the floor with three personal fouls. Clark and Hillsman. Hemsley skips it left side, Kell catches. Reverses it back to Hemsley. Takes it right side, crosses over against Terrell Brown. Rises up, throws the lob for Izundu on the back door. Izundu goes up, blocked by Brandon Clark. Held on to the basketball, and the Spartans will have the possession. Boy, that was a dangerous play, though, for Brandon Clark, because so often, if you go from behind the back of a player, it can be called for a foul, even if it isn't. And in that instance, Brandon Clark getting all ball and getting the Spartans in their possession. Clark into Brown. And Brown will wait to the press to clear. Goes over to the left side, long pass over to Hillsman, jumps up to receive and gives back out to Terrell Brown with 20 seconds to shoot. Brown barking out a play call. Right side, Isaac Thornton has it. Takes it to his left, crosses over back to his right side. And now bounces underneath to the right side block for Ryan Wellage. Tried to outlet the pass away. It was blocked. Right back to Wellage. It comes. Blind pass to Hillsman. Five seconds to shoot. Out ahead to Wellage once more. Drives down the lane. Tries to go up with the right hand. He couldn't get the shot away in time. And it will be a shot clock possession as that was blocked on the drive. 12.09 remaining in the second half. Spartans lead by five. Malik Pope. Gives up to Hemsley. Spartans, their three-quarter court press. Cannot trap, and Hemsley takes it up the floor. Heels on the logo, staring over at Coach Fisher to his right. J.C. Hillsman loosely guarding against him. Aztecs seem confused on this possession here. Ten seconds to shoot. Hemsley waiting to make a move. Gets a screen, rises for three, fires away. Back iron miss, high in the air comes J.C. Hillsman for the rebound. Uh, that just did not look like a possession in which they were really certain about what they wanted to run. It just didn't seem like the Aztec offense were, were used to watching. Brown now gets around a screen, and we have a foul on the floor before the pass was taken. Goes against Izundu, and that'll bring us to a timeout. His third personal foul, the fifth team foul to the Aztecs. A five-point Spartan lead, 48-43, 11 remaining in the second half from the event center. You're listening to Spartan Basketball from Learfield. Spartans 48, Aztecs 43, 11 left in the second half. Been a good one from the event center here this evening. It's both teams hitting their lull right now, though. The Aztecs have not scored in two and a half minutes. The Spartans have not hit a shot from the field in four minutes. And the Spartans, who had their lead out to 11 points, really kind of persevering right now and trying to fight through this scoring drought and maintain their lead over the Aztecs. Both teams have hit 17 shots from the field. Spartans 17 of 40. Aztecs 17 of 44, but the big difference, the turnovers and the points off of those turnovers. Aztecs have committed 13 turnovers in this game, 10 of them in the first half. The Spartans have 22 points off the turnover. Meanwhile, the Spartans have committed seven turnovers of their own, and the Aztecs have only converted on five points off of those seven turnovers. The Spartans really battling, though. It's a, a fight for every possession, every basket in this type of game with the length that San Diego State has underneath. They've had five blocked shots in this one. And the Spartans, who have had to work with some foul trouble. Brandon Clark, 12 points, three personal fouls. J.C. Hillsman, three points, three personal fouls. Brandon Clark, the leading scorer, has only played 17 minutes in this game. So here's Isaac Thornton to inbound for the Spartans. He lobs into J.C. Hillsman, around for Ryan Wellich. Quick rotation on a touch pass to Brown. Outside Thornton in between the circles. Thornton waiting for Brown to come up to relieve him, and he does. 20 seconds to shoot. Waiting for a screen now. Brown goes to the right side of it, right to the rim, underneath. Reverse lay and wouldn't go. Got a little English on it to try and spin it off glass. And as he hung in the air, just not enough to get it up and over the rim. And now a travel is called by Hemsley, who hit the brakes and fell to his backside. I don't think there was anybody to pass to. Kell was running away from him. Hemsley came off the dribble and hit the brakes so hard that he tried to keep his pivot foot down by falling over, and he traveled with it. That wasn't pretty. 
And another turnover from the Aztecs. Can the Spartans get more points off that turnover? Brandon Clark spin move down the lane, hard with a right hand, finishes to the right side of the rim. Poetry in motion, Brandon Clark. And the Spartan lead is seven. 10.40 to play in the second. Shrigley now, hand in his face with Terrell Brown on him. Shrigley lobs it over to Pope. Pope rises for a high arcing three. It was no good. Isaac Thornton the rebound. Pulling it away from two defenders. Terrell Brown. And again, the Spartans can try and push that lead back up. Brown to his left. Ryan Wellich thought about the three, gave it over to Isaac Thornton, drops it down on a bounce, now back out to Wellich, up fake, drives in, jumps across, throws out right side, Hillsman takes the three, and he got it! J.C. Hillsman has two threes in the game, and he has five for the year. How about that from the sophomore? It's a 10-point lead, 53-43. to 43. Under 10 minutes to play now, Kell takes it left around a screen from Izundu. Drops it off down to Shrigley, catch and shoot three ball. That's no good. Brandon Clark can't get to the rebound. It goes off of his fingertips and out of play. Another three-point opportunity missed, though, from the Aztecs. And how about these numbers? Four of 16 from beyond the arc of San Diego State. The Aztecs, who are not a good three-point shooting team at 33% this year, but... Spartans have been doing a nice job closing out beyond the arc. Inbound goes to Pope. Pope drives in right down the baseline on the right side. That was something that looked too easy for the six foot ten Malik Pope, who reversed the lay in down. 53 45. Terrell Brown again controlling the point for the Spartans. Goes to Thornton, Thornton attacking the rim. Thornton underneath, drops it off again for the backdoor feed and the jam from Brandon Clark. Came out of nowhere and finished hard at the rim. 16 from Brandon Clark. On the other end, it's Kell out to Shrigley, takes the three and he got it from the right wing. Matt Shrigley has six points and the Spartans lead 55 to 48 with nine minutes remaining in the second half. A timeout on the floor called by San Diego State. And we'll take a break as well. 55-48, the Spartans with the lead. Nine minutes remaining in the second half. You're listening to Spartan Basketball from Learfield. Spartans are up, 55-48. Justin Allegri back with you from inside the event center. Nine minutes remaining in the second. The Aztecs have taken their second timeout of this basketball game. And they are trailing 55-48. Spartans with three timeouts left. Aztecs have five team fouls in this half. Spartans just with three. Two of their players, though, with three personal fouls. Brandon Clark has 16 points for the Spartans to lead all scorers. Ryan Wellage with 10, Terrell Brown with 9 for San Jose State. Jeremy Hemsley checking in with 11 points overall for the Aztecs in this basketball game. Well, fans, the 2017 Mountain West Conference Basketball Tournament tips off this March in Las Vegas. The Spartan Ticket Office has a limited number of the best seats available for the tournament, which includes sideline, lower level, and all session tickets. Reserve your seats for all the men's and women's basketball games at the Thomas and Mack Center by calling the Spartan Ticket Office at 408-924-SJTX. That's 408-924-7589. Don't miss the 2017 Mountain West Basketball Tournament, March 6th through the 11th in Las Vegas. Spartans are 53% from the field in this second half. They're 8 of 15. Well, the Aztecs are also 8 of 16 in the second half. At the break, number Spartans who the have had an 11-point lead at one juncture. Have the basketball coming out of the timeout after Matt Shrigley hit a three, and Coach Fisher called for the timeout to try and get his team back and going after they have seen turnovers really plague them in this game. Wellage waiting to inbound, looking for options, touched in, and it's turned over to Dakari Allen. Allen out to Shrigley, good close out from the Spartans. They're gonna have to defend here. Allen gets it in, the, in between the circles, dribbled into the paint, now runs back outside and bounces down.
for Trey Kell. That's exactly what Coach Fitcher was looking for, trying to get that turnover. Izundu on the closeout from behind. Brandon Clark goes up and made the block, but Isaac Thornton just before committed the foul. The foul's on number 20, Isaac Fourth Thornton. team foul for the Spartans. His first personal. And now Izundu will go to the free throw line. And again, that's the guy to foul. Izundu, who is just 8 of 20 from the free throw line this year. If he's going to get an open basket, hack him. He's 1 of 3 from the free throw line in this game. Free throw, back iron miss, off the backboard and off the front iron. Ends up being no good. Hit every part of the backboard he could except for the middle of the basket. I'm not saying hack a shack, but if the Spartans get into a spot, that's the guy to give it to. Misses the second free throw bad, and Balik Pope gets the rebound. Kell lost control of the basketball, came up with it. Stolen away now by Isaac Thornton on a blind pass from Pope. Thornton pushing in transition, goes to the rim, finger roll laying good, and he got fouled! Isaac Thornton pushing in transition, finishing, and goes to the free throw line. Another turnover from the Aztecs. That was their 15th. And Isaac Thornton goes to the line as the Spartans are up by nine. The officials are, are looking at the replay and probably as to who committed that foul. I think there might be a question as there were two trailing players. And they're going to go to the re review to see who that will be on. But Isaac Thornton providing the steal. And remember, Isaac is second on the all-time list at San Jose State in career steals. Entering this game had 132 career steals. And so many of his steals are, are like that one he just had where he's almost like a safety, picking off the pass, reading where the pass will be, and just running up and taking off with it. And so... The officials going over to make sure that they have the foul on the right player. It goes against Shrigley. That's his third personal. And for the Aztecs, who have used Matt Shrigley as a three-point threat in this game, that's a, a big third foul for him. Thornton shoots the free throw, and he got it. Back to a double-digit lead for the Spartans with eight and a half to play. Kell left side. Catches for Pope. And the shot clock did not start. Yeah, the game clock didn't start either. Coach Wojcik obviously frustrated as this serves as a unofficial timeout. The crew will go over and see how many seconds they need to take off the clock. But in a moment like this where the Spartans have the momentum back, they're four of the last four from the field, this is a chance for Coach Fisher to rally his troops more than anything. And how many seconds will they take off? 8.32 on the clock right now, 30-second shot clock. And the Aztecs will have it on the sideline. And they will take eight seconds off the clock. So 8.24, 22 seconds on the shot clock. And uh, Coach, <laughs> Coach Wojcik with a grin, one of the officials comes in and says, that's enough. Take that whiteboard away. Put the pen away. Can't help but laugh at that. but Kari Allen will inbound. 22 seconds, Kell gets it. Kell now squaring up one-on-one -on -one with Jalen James, goes to his right, spins across, gets a double team. Allen now into the corner, Malik Pope up fake. Sticking with him is Ryan Wellage, jumps in the lane, stripped of the basketball, loose ball goes to Kell, drives in, and he finishes with a right hand as he gets fouled. Boy, that was a great opportunity for the Spartans to almost take it away again. And just a fortuitous bounce comes to Trey Kell. And he does everything he can with it to finish, gets the basket, and the foul. Foul comes into Jalen James. Zylan Cheatham will come back in. Jalen James will come out for the Spartans. Terrell Brown comes back in. Also, Brandon Clark takes his seat. And Brandon Mitchell comes in. Cheatham came in to replace Malik Pope. 
And Trey Kell goes for his and one. An eight point Spartan lead with eight minutes and 10 seconds left. Kell shooting right into the band and students as he hits the free throw. Terrell Brown has it, seven point Spartan lead. Brown out to Wellage. Wellage shuffles over right side for Thornton and back up to Terrell Brown. Spartans will hold. This is what they did against New Mexico with under eight minutes to play. They held and they hit shots late in their shot clock possession. 10 seconds to shoot now. Terrell Brown goes to his right. Eight seconds now. Terrell Brown right side for Isaac Thornton. Into the corner. Ryan Wellage takes the three. Halfway down and out. No good. Tipped up and grabbed by Brandon Mitchell. Offensive rebound for the Spartans. They'll reset. Good look from Ryan Wellage, though. Man, that was just a fraction of an inch from going in. Brown skips it to Thornton. Dribbles in. Outside J.C. Hillsman takes the corner three. It's an air ball off of... Xylan Cheatham who can't catch, and it goes out of play. Boy, if they gave errors like they do in baseball to basketball players, then that would be E. Cheatham. 58-51, Spartans with the lead. They'll have a possession with 12 seconds on the shot clock when we come back to the event center. 7.24 remaining in the second half. You're listening to Spartan Basketball from Learfield. 58-51, Spartans leading. 7.24 remaining in the second half from the event center. It's been the Spartans who have pushed and pushed and pushed. They have 27 points off the turnover right now where the Aztecs have committed 15 turnovers. And the Spartans have committed eight turnovers resulting in five points from San Diego State off the turnover. That has been a major difference in this game. Spartans have hit their free throws. They're 13 of 14. And the Aztecs, who have taken way more threes than they usually average, they've already taken 17 attempts from beyond the arc in this game. Have two players in double figures. Trey Kell with 10. Jeremy Hemsley with 11. And the Spartans, meanwhile, have 16 from Brandon Clark and 10 from Ryan Wellage. Terrell Brown is yet to score in this second half, but folks, look for him to be the man with the basketball. He'll inbound, Brown will. 12 seconds to shoot for the Spartans. Isaac Thornton gets it at the elbow, rises up, kicks it back out. Terrell Brown takes the three. It's a back iron miss. Trigley with the rebound. And they designed that play to get it to the hands of Terrell Brown. He got a good look, but could not connect. Kell now drives down the leg, jump step, hoists one up, tipped up into the air, and the loose ball collected by Cheatham on the baseline. Close out Hillsman, outside Kell. Kell motioning the offense with a left hand. Left hand dribble, outside once more for Dakari Allen. Allen waiting, seven seconds to shoot, attacks the right side of the lane and floats one up, it was no good. Tries to get the rebound and we have an over the back call, a foul against San Diego State, which is their seventh team foul and the fourth to Valentine Izundu. In the bonus, the foul is on 45. Spartans will shoot free throws here. His fourth. And Brandon Mitchell at the free throw line for the one and one. Here's where the point in the game was 6.50 left. And you're not in the double bonus. The first free throws critical. Try and maintain this lead of seven points. Mitchell, first free throw. Good. And that's what you got to do. If you want to beat teams like San Diego State, you have to hit your free throws when you're given those opportunities. The Spartans have done just that. Izundu will come out with his four personal fouls. Entering back is Hemsley. So he'll go with that more guard-oriented lineup right now. Brandon Mitchell lining up his second free throw. Up and good. Brandon Mitchell has just matched his season high of eight points. He's provided valuable minutes to the Spartans in this game. A lead of 60 to 51 for San Jose State. And now we have a foul reaching in was Isaac Thornton called for the foul against Matt Shrigley. Thornton's second personal foul. Ryan Wellage will get ready to check in. And here he comes. Wellage will get Brandon Mitchell. Brandon Mitchell, great, great performance in this game. 
Six points, 13 minutes, three rebounds. Kell on the inbound, elbow, weaves it outside to Kari Allen, up fake, jumps into the lane, goes over the top of Brandon Clark. It was no good, off the back iron. Clark grabs the rebound. Boy, he had to go up and get that one, though. Brandon Clark, none bigger than that rebound right there for him this evening. Brandon Clark has 16 points, and that was just his second rebound. Now Brown attacks the right side of the paint. Gets one up off the glass, grazes the front of the rim. Too firm to the rim. Rebound to Kari Allen. Allen dribble handoff to Kell to his right side. Gets it across to Hemsley, guarded by Brown. Shuffles to his right with six minutes to play. Hemsley in the corner to Kari Allen. Rotates up, Shrigley catch and shoot three ball. No good, offensive re or rather defensive rebound. Brandon Clark, he's got it. And the Spartans go back to work and will slow things down. Across the timeline comes Brown. Bounces to the elbow for Clark. Clark, spin move, kick out to Isaac Thornton. He wants to drive, throws over to his left and has that pass picked off by Trey Kell. Pushes in transition. Kell gets a shot up, it was no good. Offensive rebound and the putback from Cheatham, no good. And the loose ball comes to Brown. Sprinting across the half court line. He goes up and is fouled by Shrigley as he's hugged and dropped to the court. And they may take another look at this one, too. Terrell Brown will go to the free throw line. Matt Shrigley called for the personal foul. And the Aztecs continue to miss opportunities on offense. So Terrell Brown will go to the free throw line here. With the Spartans up 60 to 51. Terrell Brown waiting for the first free throw. It's no good. That's just the second free throw the Spartans have missed in this game. Terrell Brown getting ready for his second. Here it comes, and that one's good. That's the first point for Terrell Brown in the second half. And the Spartans back up to a double-digit lead. A 10-point advantage, 61 to 51. 524 left in the second half. Cheatham comes out, Pope comes back in. Brandon Mitchell also in for the Spartans. And now the Spartans tip the pass. It goes loose to Kell. Kell out to Hemsley, takes the three ball, and it's no good. Rebound, Brandon Clark. He brings it up the floor very quickly. Brandon Clark down the lane, finishes with a right hand scoop to the hoop. Brandon Clark has 18. And the Spartan lead at 12, the largest of the game right now. Hemsley, right side, Allen. Allen crosses over to his left, out for Hemsley once more, has it with Brown on him. Gil Caesar gets it on a pivot foot. Outside, Allen thought about the three. Good closeout, down low. Brandon Clark from behind on the contest of Malik Pope. And a foul is called against Brandon Clark, his fourth personal foul. 4.44 remaining in, in the game. Clark will come out for Ryan Wellage. And Brandon Clark will take a seat with his four personal fouls. So Malik Pope goes to the line for one and one. First is rattling around and in. Oh, he almost didn't get it to go. But the Spartans, again, with a big push here, even though they're one of the last five from the field. The Aztecs have not scored in three and a half minutes. Pope hits both of his free throws and makes it a 10-point game once more. Hillsman on the catch with 440 to play. Hillsman has it. Jumps up to throw it across the timeline to Isaac Thornton. And he gives over to Terrell Brown, who will slow the basketball game down again with four and a half to play. 17 seconds to shoot. Thornton on the right side wing. Goes around a screen from Brandon Mitchell. Thought about the free throw line. Jumper pulled it back down. Nice pass on the bounce to Ryan Wellage. Goes up and had that shot blocked. Hemsley gets the loose ball. Hemsley out in transition. Loses control for a moment. Gets it back. Floats one up. It was no good. And it goes out of play off of the Aztecs. The Aztecs have had fits of trouble. Trying to get shots up. They've had high percentage shots not go. 
Clark on the bench with four fouls. The Aztecs have shot 35% from the field for the game. They're not a very good shooting team overall, but that's well under their average. And now J.C. Hillsman gets fouled by Gil Caesar. And Hillsman will go to the line. Monte Gil Caesar, second personal. And the ninth team foul. The Aztecs have not scored in four minutes from the field. 0 of 8. 1 and 1 for J.C. And then the Spartans will be in the double bonus. Free throw, good from J.C. J.C. Hillsman had two big threes in this second half, becoming one of the more potent second half players on the Spartan roster. Hillsman now, second free throw, and it's good. Spartans up by 12. Again, the largest lead of the game right now with four minutes to play in the second half. Hemsley outside. Glides over to his left, shuffles a pass away to Kell. Kell contested by Mitchell. Nice pass down low. Gil Caesar goes up and is fouled underneath the rim, rising as Brandon Mitchell was caught in between plays. That'll bring us to a timeout on the floor. 65-53, Spartans with the lead. 3.54 remaining in regulation. A break in the action from the event center. You're listening to Spartan Basketball from Learfield. It's the Spartans 65, the Aztecs 53. The largest lead of the game right now for the Spartans at 12 with 3.54 remaining in the basketball game. Before we get back to action here from the event center, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to the Spartan Basketball Radio Network from Learfield. Justin Allegri back with you. Glad to have you along this evening from Walt McPherson Court here in San Jose where the Spartans have played a dazzling second half of basketball. 65-53, they lead it. The largest lead of the game right now. They are 10 of 22 from the field in the second half. They're 43% from the field in the game. And all that despite being three of 13 from distance, but 27 points off the turnover where 15 have been committed by San Diego State. That's the major difference in this game for the Spartans. They also have 10 more points from the free throw line. Spartans have been harassing the Aztecs throughout this game. And now they will try and close out the final four minutes up by 12. Out of the timeout, we have some free throws coming from San Diego State's Monte Gil Caesar. A sophomore from Ontario, Canada. First free throw slides on through. He's 84%, one of their better from the line. He was voted as the preseason newcomer of the year. He's only averaged 13 minutes per game this season. Transfer from the University of Missouri, second free throw, also falls. 10-point lead for the Spartans. Wellage out for Hillsman. Hillsman trying to work across the half-court line. Long pass out to Isaac Thornton. Delays for a moment, went up and was blocked by the Aztecs. And Isaac, I think, had a decision to make. Do I go up or do I try and delay and take time? He didn't. And now Gil Caesar attacks, finishes with a right hand Montague at the rim. Montague Gil Caesar has six. And Number 15, Clark he had a warning there, I think. Dakari Allen was warned for delaying the game. Wasn't called for it, but that will allow substitutions to come in. He, he held on to the ball after the whistle and I think the official said you can't do that because you're allowing your defense to get ready. So it was a warning, but still a dead ball, so it allowed the Spartans to make their substitutions in an eight-point game. Wellage gets the outlet. Wellage attacks, dumps it off for Brandon Clark. Underneath he goes for a two-hand throwdown. Brandon Clark with 20. Again, Gil Caesar on the drive. We have a foul coming on the floor before the shot was taken, and a good thing, too, because he finished. The foul is on 21. Jalen James with the personal foul. And more free throws coming from Gil Caesar, who all of a sudden has taken over for the Aztecs offensively. Oh, by the way, that's the ninth, 20th, 20 point game this year for Brandon Clark. And the seventh time in conference play, he's gone off for 20. Wow. 
Brandon Clark with this game and then seven after it, making a case for player of the year in the Mountain West Conference. Gil Caesar missed the free throw. He got his own rebound, though. And on the rebound, they'll reset to Malik Pope in the corner. Court outside for Gil Caesar. Drives in, dumps it off underneath the Kari Allen. Got the shot and basket. But before that was taken, a foul comes in against Terrell Brown. With 3.04 remaining. Gil Caesar once again back to the free throw line, or rather Dakari Allen back to the free throw line. 71% free throw shooter, and that's the 10th against the Spartans. Dakari Allen going to the line for two now. Terrell Brown, that was his first personal foul. Brandon Clark is playing with four personal fouls on the floor right now. Got to be careful with him. The Aztecs are one of their last 10 from the field. Allen waiting as they wipe up the court underneath the hoop. Here's Allen's first free throw. It's good. Dakari Allen makes it a seven-point night for him and a nine-point lead for the Spartans. Here comes his second. It's good. Spartans just have to get it across the half-court line. Trapped in the corner is Terrell Brown, and he is fouled by Dakari Allen. Terrell Brown held his ground, stuck there, and waited. And I think the Aztecs were thinking he was going to try and desperately get a pass away. He didn't. And he didn't look like a freshman right there either. That was a veteran style move with presence, wherewithal, and court awareness. Three minutes left. This game has come to a crawl. And Terrell Brown will go to the line for two. Trying to make it a double-digit lead again. His first is a knockdown. He has 11. Jalen James comes out. The Spartans get in their defensive unit on the floor right now. Wellich also departs for Mitchell and Thornton. This has been the unit for the Spartans to maintain leads. Second free throw for Brown is no good short, so it is nine-point lead for the Spartans. And Kell on the attack to Pope. Pope right side, goes against Brandon Clark, tries to back him down. Clark gets into his body, jump step in the lane, dumps it off down low. Dakari Allen right there for a reverse lay-in. And the Spartans up by seven. 240 left. Long outlet to J.C. Hillsman. He'll hold with 20 seconds to shoot. Spartans have to work the clock here. You can afford to work the clock a couple of times and even miss a couple shots at this point. Now Brown, right side, it comes over to J.C. Hillsman. Five seconds to shoot, drives down the lane, floats one up, it was no good, and tipped off of the hand of Pope, and then to Brandon Clark, out of play with 2.17 to play. Coach Wojcik will call for a timeout and rally the troops here in a 68-61 game. The Spartans ahead with 2.17 left, but the Aztecs trying to mount the comeback late. Coach Wojcik takes the 30-second timeout, gives his players a breather, and tries to sort things out defensively. Spartans with 2.17 left, trying to defeat the Aztecs for the first time since 1999. And they've led for a majority of this game. The lead was at 12. It's been a steady lead in the second half. The Spartans led at halftime. And the Spartans have countered every push the Aztecs have tried to make. Spartans have Brown, Hillsman, Thornton, Clark, and Mitchell on the floor. Pope, Gil Caesar, Kell, Allen, for the Aztecs with Hemsley. Kell calmly walking up as he gets the inbound. Floats it back to Dakari Allen. They play catch with Kell. Kell drops it to Malik Pope. Pope to the left side, Dakari Allen down the lane. Going up is Brandon Clark, and he partially blocked it and then took it away. What a big time play from Brandon Clark with two minutes left in the game. Terrell Brown 
Holding with 20 seconds to shoot. Brandon Clark rising for the runner. It's no good. And going up and getting upended was Brandon Mitchell as he goes hard to the court. Pope in transition, takes the three ball. It's offline, grazes the rim. We got a foul on the floor on that rebound try. Boy, Brandon Mitchell went down in a heap. And that goes against Isaac Thornton with 1.41 to play. I don't know why the Spartans didn't take more time on that last possession. But they tried to go with Brandon Clark for the dagger, and he couldn't finish. So Dakari Allen back to the free throw line in a seven-point game. Free throw good. Isaiah Nichols will come in. Ryan Wellage checks in. Thornton and Mitchell come out. Allen's second free throw is good. So it's a five-point game now with 1.40 to play. Nichols gets the inbound. Nichols long lob ahead to Terrell Brown. Catches against Gil Caesar and holds across the timeline. Now for Nichols. Nichols looking to Coach Wojcik on the bench, waiting to make his move. 17 seconds to shoot. Goes to the right side. Brown comes up to grab from him. Brown holding, looking to his left, driving to his right, off of his dribble, double team, bounces across to Nichols. Nichols down low to Brandon Clark, jump step in the lane, rises up for the right hand runner, it's good! Brandon Clark, great touch again, 22 points. And a seven point Spartan lead. Trey Kell with a three ball, it's no good. Clark the rebound with one minute to play. Terrell Brown has it. He'll walk it up the floor. Brown to his right, he gets fouled. Terrell Brown will go to the free throw line in a seven point game with 52 seconds left, the Spartans on top. Thornton and Mitchell preparing to come back in. 22 point night for Brandon Clark. And Coach Fisher calling for the timeout. Terrell Brown can try and make this a nine point game. The Aztecs using their third timeout. They'll have one remaining. And Coach Fisher, he's giving it to his team right now. He is not happy. But I've got to tell you the mutual respect that a coach like Steve Fisher has for Coach Wojcik is so refreshing to see. He speaks so highly of Coach Wojcik, just as highly as Coach Wojcik speaks of him for a head coach that has 564 career wins under his belt in 26 years. Seventy to sixty-three. Spartans on top, and they're shooting free throws. Terrell Brown, who has eleven points, just two in the second half, both from the line. Here comes his first. He got it. Terrell Brown has had four straight games in double-figure scoring. And he has been the key, really, for the Spartans. Distributing the offense. Second free throw. Yes, indeed. 13 points and a nine-point Spartan lead with under a minute to play. 50 seconds. Hemsley attacking right to the rim. He finishes. And Brandon Clark had to let him finish. Now Isaac Thornton holding on to the basketball. Dribbles to his left. Keeps his dribble alive. Tries to give it back outside. Brandon Clark has it. Out to Brandon Mitchell. Flags it down. Goes underneath. Two-hand jam. With 36 seconds left, Brandon Mitchell adds the exclamation point in this basketball game and makes it again. A nine-point lead. Hemsley drives. Weaves outside. Allen up fake. Pope now for three. High archer. It's good. With 25 seconds left, the Aztecs aren't going away. And they make it a six point game with 25 seconds left. Full timeout now from San Diego State. Their final timeout of the game. Brandon Clark has four personal fouls. Isaac Thornton with four personal fouls. And 25 seconds left. The Spartans, who are trying to beat the Aztecs for the first time since 1999, and trying to get their third straight conference win for the first time since 2011. The Spartans 
are playing their best basketball of this year right now. And it has been all about the guard play for the Spartans. Terrell Brown, 13 points. J.C. Hillsman, eight second half points. And of course, the contributions from players like Brandon Clark, who has his ninth 20 point game of the year. 22 points in this one. And Brandon Clark is 11 of 15 from the field. Wow. Brandon Clark already the best shooter in the conference at 60%. And that just continues to climb. 25 seconds left. 74-68. Wellich comes back in. Spartans looking to inbound, looking, 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 and Wellich calls for a timeout. I, he knew he had it. He had two left. And if there was nothing there, got to call for the timeout. Can't take the chance of committing a foul or committing a turnover. And that was a savvy move from Ryan Wellich. 74-68, Spartan lead. They'll take this 30-second timeout and discuss the inbound with 25 seconds left. The Spartans, who defeated UNLV on the 28th here at home, went on the road to New Mexico. Last Saturday, got that win by 10. Have been up by 12 points in this second half and now are trying to close things out against the Aztecs. 25 seconds left, the inbound from Ryan Wellage, and a foul called against J.C. Hillsman on the inbound. And just as he caught it, was called for the personal foul for a push. And J.C. has committed his fourth. Well, there is the turnover the Aztecs were looking for. Took under a second. And they're going to look at the shot clock, or rather the game clock. And it seems to be proper. No, they're going to reset it to 25.7, which is what it was before the foul was called. So it must have been before the inbound. Allen now on the inbound. And he lost control of the basketball, had it poked free by Brandon Clark. Coaches yelling at the Spartans, no threes, no threes. Spartans get a stop here, the game's over, essentially. 74-68, the Aztecs, they don't need a three, they just need a basket, and they need it quick. Trey Kell takes a contested and deep look at a three, and he got it. It's a three-point game. The inbound to Isaac Thornton, and Thornton gets fouled with 18 seconds left. Oh boy, don't go anywhere. On what a clutch Martin shot from Davis Trey Kell. His third bonus situation. Isaac Thornton going to the line. He's going to need to hit one. Isaac Thornton, two shots. Thornton, the senior, at 69% from the free throw line this year. Got to hit one in a three-point game. He does. Hits his first. Boy. What's the feeling like at that free throw line right now if you're Isaac Thornton? Of course, a little less pressure on this one, but still. This to make it a five-point game. Here it comes, and he got it. It's one of the big moments in this game for Isaac Thornton. Spartans have only missed three free throws here this evening. Hemsley now dribbling over, and it's Kell losing control of his dribble, fading away for three. Back iron miss, J.C. Hillsman the rebound. Hillsman dribbles it up ahead, four seconds to play. Hillsman will dribble it out, and the Spartans, for the first time since 1999, defeat the Aztecs of San Diego State. The Spartans have won three conference games in a row, and the crowd storming the court here inside the event center. 76-71, Spartans with the win over the Aztecs. And what a win it was. Student section mobbing the Spartans on the floor. And San Jose State improves to 12 and 10 overall, five and six in Mountain West Conference play, while the Aztecs fall to 13 and 10, five and six in Mountain West Conference play. A brilliant game from the Spartans, and they defeat the Aztecs for the first time 
since 1999. 76 to 71, San Jose State with the victory. Don't you go anywhere. Post game show coming your way in a few moments when we return to the event center. You're listening to Spartan Basketball from Learfield. For the first time since 1999, a event center crowd is leaving after a win over the Aztecs. 76 to 71, the Spartans defeat San Diego State here this evening. The Spartans improved to 12 and 10 overall this year, five and six in Mountain West Conference play, while the Aztecs fall to 13 and 10 this season, also five and six in Mountain West Conference play. What a game it was for the third straight win for the Spartans in conference action. That's the first time they've done that since 2011. And the final score this evening, 76 to 71. Welcome into the O'Connor Hospital post game show. Justin Allegri with you and a very happy crowd making their way out of the event center here tonight. So the Spartans get the win as we take this opportunity to look at some of the scores from around the Mountain West Conference in today's action. I mentioned earlier that it was a, a game in which Utah State and Colorado State played up in Fort Collins. And boy, Gian Clavel, what a great season he's having for a short roster of Colorado State. 69 to 52, Colorado State got the win over Utah State. They're 16 and nine now, eight and four in Mountain West Conference play. While the Aggies, and they fall to 10 and 13, four and eight in conference play. Tomorrow uh, will be three games for Mountain West Conference basketball. New Mexico and Air Force will play up in Clune Arena in Colorado Springs as New Mexico on the road, 14 and 10, seven, five overall. In the conference, 10 and 13 are the Falcons, 3 and 7 in Mountain West Conference play. Fresno State on the road at Wyoming as the Cowboys, 15 and 9 this season, 5 and 6 in the conference play. 6 o'clock tip off from Arena Auditorium in Laramie, Wyoming as Fresno State, 14 and 9, 6 and 5 in Mountain West Conference play. The final game of the night tomorrow will be inside Lawler Events Center in Reno as the in state rivals will go at it, UNLV and Nevada. The Wolfpack, 18 and 5, 7 and 3, a half game out of first place in the Mountain West Conference. Conference standings in UNLV 10 and 14 overall this season, three and eight Mountain West Conference play. That's a look at the scores from around the Mountain West Conference and the games tomorrow to be played. Here tonight, though, the Spartans with the win, 76 to 71, their third straight in conference play, and they defeat the Aztecs for the first time since 1999. Don't go anywhere. More to come on the O'Connor Hospital post game show when we return to the event center. We'll have an interview with San Jose State head coach Dave Wojcik. We'll also review all of the stats from this one, a 76-71 win for the Spartans. You're listening to Spartan Basketball from Learfield. Welcome back inside the event center on the O'Connor Hospital postgame show. Spartans win 76-71 over the Aztecs of San Diego State as San Jose State improving to 12-10 and 10 overall this season. They're now 5-6 and six in Mountain West Conference play. As the Aztecs, they fall to 13-10 and 10 this year. They're also 5-6 and six in Mountain West Conference play. So San Jose State, boy, they had to persevere through a lot in this one, and they do get the win 76-71 to 71 here tonight inside the event center. The Spartans, 12-10 and 10 now. They're three straight wins in conference play for the first time since 2011. We're now joined by head coach Dave Wojcik. Well... <laughs> We, we talked UNLV was a big win. We talked New Mexico was a big win. San Diego State's another big one. Yeah, our kids, our kids finished the game off. Um, we started out a little sluggish tonight. Um, I just think it was a lot of nerves, excitement, all kinds of emotion, but uh, got our legs under us and uh, um, played a pretty damn good game tonight. Well, and, and it was a defensive game, I think. He, Spartans put up 76 points, but it was the defense, really, to me, that won the basketball game. Yeah, no question. And, you know, I thought we did a good job. They hurt us on the glass, but, uh, you know, they do that with every team. But uh, our kids competed, and at the end of the day, um, that's what it's all about. It's never perfect. You know, we had some mismatches. We didn't, you know, in transition, we gave up a couple easy baskets there. It's never perfect, but – the team that fights through that stuff and moves on to the next play um, is usually the most successful team, sure. and that's what we did tonight. Well, the two big numbers to me, uh, points off the turnover. Spartans had 27 points off the turnover. Aztecs had eight, and the Spartans forced 15 turnovers in this game. That, that's just a huge discrepancy. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the other part, I mean, we won the game at the free throw line. Free throw line you was know, the second we, one. Go 23 or 26, mm -hmm. and uh, – and that's what it comes down to. I tell the kids all the time, you, half the games are going to come down from the free throw line. And uh, they did a good job tonight. We executed. 
Uh, we pushed it when we need to push it. We held it up, and, and we've been doing that pretty well lately. Uh, we did that in New Mexico, too, running the clock. Our clock was our ally, and, and make them play defense in the half court. And uh, I thought we did a good job of a, of a balance of right. that tonight. Well, to beat teams that can hurt you in so many different ways, the strategy has to come into it. And I know you were probably fighting the strategy with Brandon Clark having the fouls that he did, when to put him back into the game. What, what was the decision? Well, when they made the, when they made the, 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 the two, uh, we turned it over, and and then they scored again. I, you know, at that point there was about 3:30 left. I can't remember exactly. Um, you got to roll the dice. You got to play your guy, your horse. And uh, uh, he 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 went in there and made a play, made a big layup. That was a big play because they had some momentum going there, and uh, he made a nice play there. Well, coach, and it was also players. You talk about a complete game from the team. And a guy like J.C. Hillsman, who hits two big threes, and he only hit three coming into this game all year. So those are the types of, types of contributions you need in wins like this. Well, that's what you got. The guards have to make shots. You know, they're, they're going to pack it in so much on – if you saw when we were going to Brandon, they were packing it in on him. Mm -hmm. Those guys have to make shots, and they made plays tonight. The other big play was Isaac driving the one time and hit him on the cut, and he dunked the ball. I mean – the, the, the guys are, you know, they're, they're, they're enjoying themselves. You know, they're playing well. They got confidence in them themselves, but they got confidence in each other. And I've said this all along. Uh, they're a fun group around, uh, be around. And, and, and I have so much comfort being around these guys. I, I think the confidence comes, too, from, from Terrell Brown. I think he really provides just a calming sense on the floor. Yeah, he's a pretty good player. He just, you he's know. He's so tough to guard. Yeah, he's, he's hard to keep you in front of. They tried to double him at the end there. You uh -huh. saw him when we tried to go uh, flat or him one-on-one. -on -one and, uh, um, you know, he made a good read, passes, and then our guys made some plays off of that. So, um, he makes things happen. He's making good reads. The only time I thought he took a tough one is when we went – one time he went flat and he went in there and he should have pulled up and shot the little jumper like he was doing in the first half. But, you know, give and take. Like I said, the game's never perfect, right, right. and he'll learn from that. What does it mean to you and the players when, when you have such a good fan base at this, at this game? The students came out and you get to storm the court at the end. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's great for the school. It's great for the students. Um, you know, we had one sorority. They, they wanted jerseys. So the practice jerseys to come over and wear. I don't know if you saw them over there. And it's getting out there. They're understanding our, what our team's about and, and where we're doing and, and, and how we're doing it. And uh, it's great to see that. I mean, that whole section was filled. Those whole two yeah. sections were filled. So I, it was – for me, it's, it's, it's – the process is going the way it should be going. And uh, I'm really happy for our players. They deserve all the credit. Spartan upswing. For sure. Spartans get the win 76 to 71 over San Diego State here this evening. That's head coach Dave Wojcik. Thanks for joining us in the postgame show. Thanks, Spartan Nation. Thanks, Justin. More to come on the O'Connor Hospital postgame show when we return to the event center. You're listening to Spartan Basketball from Learfield. Welcome back on the O'Connor Hospital postgame show here from inside the event center. O'Connor Hospital and San Jose State University working and winning together in health. Justin Allegri back with you from Walt McPherson Court and a crowd that is sent home happy. 76 to 71, the final score here this evening as the Spartans get the win over San Diego State. Let's review the game now with some of the highlights and all the stats from this one. It wasn't a good start. Coach Wojcik mentioned it. It was an 0 for 10 start from the field for San Jose State, but after that, they really buckled down and got things going offensively as the Spartans carried a lead at halftime against the Aztecs of 33 to 29, doing so without really hitting many three balls in that first half. And for the game overall, they were just three of 13 from beyond the arc in this game, but two of those threes came in clutch moments from an unlikely source. J.C. Hillsman hit two threes. He only had three threes in the year coming into the game, but J.C. Hillsman provided two of the three Spartan three balls in this game in big moments in the second half, and the Spartans maintained their lead in the second half. At one point, rose to a 12-point advantage in the second half, and uh, the Spartans held on, although San Diego State did make it tense in the final few moments of this basketball game, but the Spartans do hold on for the victory here this evening. Let's review the game with all the highlights now. First with the team numbers, the Spartans shot 44% from the field in this game, but the big numbers, 23 of 26 from the free throw line, 88.5%. Real, real big difference there as the Spartans had nine more points from the free throw line than San Diego State did. San Diego State shot 37% from the floor. They were 7 of 24 from the free, from beyond the arc, and just a few of those came in the final minutes of this game to draw it close uh, here this evening. They also shot 14 of 21 from the free throw line. 
here tonight. The big number that was the difference maker in this game, though, 15 turnovers from the Aztecs. The Spartans turned that into 27 points off the turnover. Spartans themselves turned the ball over 10 times, and the Aztecs only had eight points off of those turnovers. The individual numbers, four players in double figures for each team. The game high from Brandon Clark. He had his ninth 20-point game of the season, his seventh in Mountain West Conference play. He was 11 of 15 from the floor, 22 points, seven rebounds, and 27 minutes of action here tonight. Ryan Wellage didn't have the greatest shooting night. He was 3 of 11 from the field, but he had 10 points for the Spartans, 0 of 5 from beyond the arc for Ryan Wellage, five rebounds in 36 minutes for Welly. Terrell Brown, the freshman guard, 3 of 9 from the field, his fourth straight game in double-figure scoring. He had 13 points, six of them coming from the free throw line in 39 minutes of play. Brandon Mitchell also had 10 for the Spartans. Brandon Mitchell, a new season high, and really was a, a spark plug for the Spartans off of the bench, 10 points from him, nine points from Isaac Thornton, second game in a row for Isaac, that he had nine points off the bench for San Jose State. He was three of six from the field and made all three of his free throws here this evening. Spartans outscored the Aztecs in the bench category, 21 to 17 overall here this evening and outscore them in the paint 34 to 30. Meanwhile, the Aztecs had four of the four players in double figures. 13 points came from Trey Kell, 5 of 14 from the field. Jeremy Hemsley, 5 of 13 from the field, 13 points overall. 12 points from Dakari Allen, 4 of 10 from the field. So you talk about those three players who had took over 10 shots and nobody hit more than five in this game. So Spartans did a nice job closing out on opportunities to shoot the three ball from the Aztecs and really sticking firm on defense, not selling out for the up fakes and the drives from the Aztecs in this game. The Aztecs shot 37% from the field in this one. And overall, the Spartans turned them over 15 times and converted 27 points off of those turnovers here this season. The Aztecs' previous season high was 18 points against the Spartans earlier this season. And the Spartans, again, uh, causing problems for San Diego State here this evening with 15 turnovers for the Aztecs. The Spartans get the win for the first time since 1999 over the Aztecs, 76 to 71 here tonight. Well, that wraps things up for us from the Event Center. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast. Invite you for our next broadcast this Saturday when the Spartans head on the road with an afternoon meeting against the UNLV Rebels. Tip off from the Thomas and Mack Center in Las Vegas this Saturday, the 11th, 3 o'clock Pacific time. Nissan pregame show will begin right here on 1590 AM KLIV and the Spartan Radio Network at 2.30. That's when I'll talk to you next. Next chance to catch the Spartans at home, that'll be on the 18th against Air Force. If you need tickets for that game or for the remaining home schedule, call 408-924-7589 or sjsuspartans.com. For our studio host and engineer, Zach Tanner, doing a great job as he always does back at KLIV. This is Justin Allegri once again repeating the final score from the Event Center where the Spartans get the victory over the Aztecs, 76-71. to Thanks so much for tuning in and so long from Walt McPherson Court.